Hi everyone and welcome to a new build video. Today I'm going to be showing off the Negotiator's Dilemma gear set. All right. So it's a standard four piece with the chest and backpack unused. All right. I'm gonna show you a couple of variations because there are a few different pieces you can use to get maybe a little bit if you wanna squeeze the most damage out of it or depending on what pieces you may or may not have. All right. Now, what I use is a Fenris chest piece with focus and a Cheska backpack with vigilance. All this is rolled into crit hit chance and crit hit damage. All of my negotiators pieces are crit hit damage with the exception of my knee pads, which are crit hit chance just to hit that 58%, which is close enough to the threshold. All right, now all my mods crit hit damage and crit damage. All right. You can substitute out this Fenris chest plate for a pristine example. If I am not mistaken, this will do a very small fraction bit more damage. Um, the pristine example is also a very good option if you put um, put a crit damage mod on that. It still gives you 60% total weapon damage. All right. The other option I've seen people do is because you still use, so you'll still be using an eight times scope with this. Um, but I've seen people use the sacrifice, and then that allows you to use the gift, so you can make up for that extra. Basically, instead of getting that extra weapon damage, you get a little bit of headshot damage, and some still get the crit chance to hit that threshold. Um, let's see, where is the boom? Now, this is primarily an AR based build, in my opinion, and it does best with an AR. If you're looking for something fast, I would go with the FAMAS 2010. I use the Omega Rifle 5556 suppressor uh, just to get that extra stability. You need an 8x or higher scope to activate focus and then I just have a 5% crit chance laser with the 20 round mag. Another great option is the Carbine 7 if you have one of those. A police M4 works wonderfully. Um, the G36 is a great one. Um, I prefer the FAMAS and the Carbine 7. The f Carbine for a little bit longer range or when I need a little bit more sustained damage but the FAMAS is great for burst damage. Now, as I talked about in my previous build video on snipers and why you should just scope, or why you should snipe unscoped, I'm gonna show you why this build works even though it limits your field of view with an AR with a scope. All right. This is this build is meant for legendary. Um, I wouldn't really recommend using it to farm heroic, just because the focus takes time to build up stacks. I mean, you can if you want to, but there's not too much of a point to it. So there's a glitch you can use. Let me find something where if you put your shield up against something and you have an eight times scope i think it actually works with the four times or the 3.4 times scope too but if you put that scope up then you can shoot through the corner so see how i can still shoot at these people but my, i'm not moving my character and my character isn't exposed it's just a little bit of my shield and see i can put that to the test when i run into this legendary mission don't let anything stand in your way how they're hitting my shield but they're not doing any damage to me
to now, the deceased. One thing, so I mentioned, I forgot to mention Objective. the most important thing. What does negotiators way. do? Hostile negotiations. Critical hits mark an enemy for 20 seconds up to three marks total. When you critically hit a marked enemy, all other marked enemies take 60% of the damage dealt. Whenever a critical or whenever a marked enemy dies, gaining 2% critical hit damage, stacking up to 20 times or until combat ends. All right. So you get up to two times two is four. 40% extra critical damage. So that would put me at about 200 crit damage when fully stacked. And then it would put me, and it would basically allow me to mark and deal damage to three enemies. All right. Now, you can use the backpack. The backpack is viable with focus. Where is it? There it is. The backpack changes the hostile negotiation damage to additionally marked enemies from 60 to 100 percent so you're just dealing 100 percent damage to three enemies you lose vigilance though so it's a trade-off if you want to make it you can the big thing when you're using the backpack is making sure you always have three enemies marked i prefer the vigilance but you try both out see what works for you And that's it. I'm going to now head into a couple more tips for playing the negotiator's build and show you a few other things. You've got your objective. Don't let anything stand in your way. So I mentioned that this build is suitable for legendaries and solo legendaries. I might as well show you some gameplay of that, so here it goes. And don't forget, focus doesn't go away when you ADS. So you can let go of the scope for a second if you want to look at your surroundings. See if I can push up to here.
But you get my point. You've got your objective. Don't let anything stand in your way. Just I'll do three. Just to show you that wasn't a fluke. Actually, I'll do one with each. Each version of it. See how far we can get with each. And you can... I won't do it, but you can compare the damage numbers yourself. You've got your objective. Don't let anything stand in your way. It's also a really good set for taking out dogs, by the way. Okay, for now, let's go to the sacrifice. Wait for damage. So the add advantage to this is you don't need to let your focus stacks build up, but it's hitting, as you can see, the body shots are hitting less, it looks like. But the headshots are hitting pretty high. So if I can consistently hit headshots, then it's 
might be a good option. Immediate medical assistance needed. The problem with that is it's glass cannon and you're going to get wrecked. But with glass cannon you can also use a non-scoped AR. So if you wanted to run with if you wanted to run with negotiators on he heroic you could use glass cannon. Um, but yeah, that's the negotiators of Lumma gear set. And if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments. I would love to hear and answer them. See you next time.